hello, 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 great viewers of my time. You are welcome to Bless Biafra Network, a bar no winging network where you can get authentic news and the great news that you are looking for. Do not think we are joking here. Come to Bless Biafra Network right now. You will see what is happening. This is what we are talking about. It's one of the best. I'm talking about the best. What are we going to show you right now? Something new. Check it out. Well, the headlines of today's news says We are in trouble. Nigerian unity is questionable. Good luck, Hebere Jonathan. Now, before I go on with the news in detail, I will say please press the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime we have news or video. And also the red subscribe button is very important. Now let's go on with the news in detail. Ordinarily, the national youth body is supposed to be stronger than the region than the regional youth body. Former president of Nigeria, Good Luck Jonathan, has said the unity of Nigeria is questionable. According to Jonathan, he stated this while speaking during an exclusive command performance by the Port Harcourt Mayor and Symbol International Tact Peace for All Nations at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Abuja. He stated that Nigerian youth sometimes engage in all kinds of confrontation, recalling his conversation with one of his friends and I was discussing with somebody one of my friends and I said look in Nigeria they appear not to even have a national youth body because in most cases the regional youth bodies are stronger than the national youth bodies ordinarily, ordinarily the national youth body is supposed to be stronger than the regional youth body. If you go to my state, Bayasa State, for example, if I am a national member of Nigerian Youth Council, the IYC, Joy Youth Council, feels that they are your boss. If you go to the southwest and to the north, the Arewa Youth Group, they feel they are superior. To the national youth body if you go to the southwest the same thing if you go to the southeast the same thing that shows clearly that as a nation we are in trouble the unity of the country is questionable Jonathan said <laughs> oh god i don't feel love for jamaica so now nah, nah, jonathan they woke up from sleep so good Lord Jonathan is just waking up from sleep. <laughs> With all due respect, Mr. Good Lord Jonathan, I like you so much, but the truth is that you people can never wake up from sleep. You people can never realize that what the Fulanis are doing with you is nothing but slavery. For you, you have the money. You made their money through politics. Your children are now rich. Just like every other children of politician in Nigeria, the governors, the ministers, the senators, all of them all, all the guide them crazy people that call themselves politicians. But the masses who own the resources that is making you rich has nothing to show for the whole resources we have in Nigeria. You were there as a president. You couldn't do anything for your people. You didn't do anything for your people. I can feel your plight. Maybe you were so much tight that to the extent you can't even make or shake your body. They use our diet and spagulu because that is how it is. That's how they roll there. 
it doesn't matter who you are once you get to that asshole rock you are finished the fellow will use you for crawfish for bongo pepper soup Golod Jonathan was a president. He did not do anything for his people. No good road. He was busy doing everything in the north. Like people they use charm on. Well, for him he tried. And for some people there he tried. The only thing I know is that Golod Jonathan did is that through his own tenor nobody was being killed by Fulani or whatever nobody was being killed by the so called soldiers he used the soldiers where no innocent person was being killed by soldiers he used this, the soldiers well. Nobody was complaining about killing, about dead. And the bag of rice was also cheap, was also cheap. And some other things, some other food stocks. But the truth still remains that even the hospitals in our land and everything, our road, none of them was done. The so called uh, Second Niger Bridge or whatever, he commissioned, he did not do it. Sometimes I ask myself a question Is these people really doing this thing with their eyes or are they charmed? How can a South President, instead of him to do something important for the people, he's busy building a Lamajiri school and did not? Look at Buhari, or whatever they call, he calls himself. It's true that he has been a bad man. He was a bad man before his death. And now, Jibri, now that they, they said that it was Jibri that is there, after Jibri left, now it's Yusuf. But at least, Buhari, while he was there, he don't give a damn about another person except his people. Except, of course, his people. Even now, they say that it was an impostor who was there, who is there now. He is still the same. He allowed his people from different, different countries to come to Nigeria without any document. He made them citizen of Nigeria. Now they are dragging the land with us. He did everything. He is building railway station to Niger, a country that will have nothing to do with. He is building railway station to Niger with borrowed money, with our resources. Whereas we have no road, no electricity, nothing. All those things, Good Lord Jonathan also did not do it. It's true, Good Lord Jonathan offered some job, though with little pay. But people were managing. But now, the worst of it is the killing, the massacre, the mending of innocent people, innocent certain people, innocent Biafrans. And it's now that Golo Jonata is realizing that Nigeria unity is questionable. How will you be killing me? How can you be killing me that did not commit any offense and you allow Fulani men to go freely in the land? And you expect the national youth to be together? <laughs> For what? For what reason? It's not a normal thing. Regional youth is supposed to be stronger than the so called national youth body. Otherwise, you chairman cannot come out and start talking just and jargons on his mouth about the Bear France and they want me and him to be one. Even though he is the one training Boko Haram. And I am not running anybody, rather, I am fighting for Biafra restoration because I feel that you, I am being cheated. And I feel that the country is no longer safe for me. Because of that, he called me a terrorist. Whereas I want you to who are busy sponsoring Flally Handmen, you have not called them certain. I want you to who are busy telling the other people living in the country to leave their place. 
a place that they developed. He did not call them terrorists and send them to jail. But rather, he preferred to kill Biafran, to use the useless set of people who have in Biafran land that is a lot, political halot, to use them to kill Biafran children. And they want me, and that why you to man, to be one. <laughs> this is very funny. Please, Mr. Gullo Jonathan. They have to stop. If really, maybe they are trying to bring you back to become a president, shun them. Don't be. He cannot afford anything for us. He cannot offer us anything. They will stay tight here again. You continue to build the railway station until you build even to rest of the flyover to Niger. We are sick and tired of all this sort of thing. Come back and join us to restore Biafra Nation in a place where everybody will be free. In a place we have our own police. In a place we have our own regional police. In a place we have our so-called resources and in a place we have resource control. We are tired. Who get here, make it here. Brothers and sisters, I've come to the end of this news. Please, I want you to share this news. And at the same time, Drop your comment in the comment section and stay cool. Cheers.